Hey, so, all right, you've purchased a license, right? Whether it's monthly or lifetime, hopefully li lifetime because the uh, price is going to increase there. But uh, yeah, you, you've purchased one. You want to utilize Obsidian AI uh, via System Sculpt, right? And so you can see here, obviously, this is my personal account, of course. Um, I have all my little templates and such. And after you've gone through the process of purchasing the lifetime license, you can click into the license, of course, uh, read about it. Uh, click by now. You can watch some previous videos. But anyway, you will then see after the purchase is complete that you now have it owned. You own that license, right? And it's a lifetime license. And lifetime, by the way, doesn't mean a year. doesn't mean two years. It's a five-year guarantee. So this project is going to be a very, very long, uh, long term. So make sure you get it before the price increases. Uh, so anyway, um, you click access resource, all right? And then boom, look, you're right in your dashboard in the my resources uh, tab in the, in the page of my resources. And here you can see all of my, you know, other owned assets, right? Uh, you can see templates and so on and so forth. And you can, you know, straight up download them. But here now you see the lifetime license key that's, you know, mine. So now what I can do is I can click copy and it copies it to my clipboard. Perfect. And now I can head into my Obsidian and I can go into my Obsidian settings. And now let's pretend that you don't have this installed yet, right? So you're going to ho obviously hop into community plugins. You're going to search uh, system sculpt and boom, there it is. Almost 15,000 downloads. Wow. Okay, cool. 15,000, almost 15,000 people. All right. And then obviously for you, it's going to say install or enable or whatever. Make sure you go through both options both install and enable because you have to do both. And then you'll see this options part, click options and then head on down. Uh, and then here you're going to see license key. Okay. So it's going to be in the premium features part. You're going to paste what you just copied from the website. Remember the website being over here, um, lifetime system scope, AI license, you copy this, right? Then we head back into our obsidian and into this little paste license key. We paste it command V if you're on Mac, uh, or control V if you're on Windows and then boom, enable pro features and it's going to validate it and it's going to show you exactly how many credits you have. Now I already used this uh, test key. So uh, originally it says 10,000, but don't worry about credits. Credits are going to be phased out soon. Um, this is just sort of like a personal dev uh, type of thing for me. Uh, again, it's going to be phased out. So anyway, now you're good to go. You're all enabled. So not only now are you enabled here in the license key part, you can see, but now you actually have in this system sculpt cloud. And I'm going to rename this because some people think cloud and you're right. I should have named this uh, something else, uh, you know, to begin with. Uh, it doesn't mean that anything's getting backed up, right? Or anything's getting uploaded anywhere. Uh, what this really is, is the system sculpt provider, right? API provider. So now you have access. Let's say you didn't have these enabled, neither open AI nor open router, right? Let's say you didn't do any of the quick model setup. As long as you have a license key, okay? Now keep this in mind. This is the whole point of it. As long as you have one, you have access to all of these models, right? And these models change. I wouldn't say they change daily, but they definitely change weekly and they're always backwards compatible. Um, so if you really like a specific model, it's going to pretty much remain there. Um, I just always want to make sure that the latest and greatest models are always available to you, right? Now, of course, we're not using like GPT 4.5. Uh, that would cost me, um, you know, my entire mortgage, I'm sure. Uh, but you get what I'm saying. Um, all the latest and greatest models that are coming out, 04 Mini, Deep Seek, so on and so forth. Um, really, really great models. And so now what you can do, now that you have everything enabled, you can hop in here. Um, of course, one thing I would do right off the bat is probably hit up the embeddings tab and then start embedding. Now, of course, I've been testing out the custom endpoint, but you can very easily switch to, and it sh this should be the default to system sculpt, um, as a provider for embeddings. And so, I mean, again, I already did this part as well. So my system is already embedded. Um, and anyway, long story short, if you click enable embeddings, I'll make a separate video regarding embeddings, but, um, yeah, that's one of the first things you should probably do once you have, you know, system sculpt all set up and done. Uh, next, what you should probably do is uh, test out the um, similar notes features you can see on the sidebar there, right? Similar notes. Uh, you can see whatever note you're in, it's going to show you similar notes to that note as long as your embeddings are done, right? But anyway, um, to finish things off, let's open up a new system sculpt chat. Here we have a new chat window. Let's just start things off with, uh, hey, what you up to? And, you know, we're utilizing a system sculpt uh, model. I believe we're using a system sculpt model. Let me double check here. Um, okay, so we're using uh, OpenAI's GPT 4.1 Mini. 
So we can switch to, let's say, DeepSeek, right? So DeepSeek, again, this is via, you can see um, here within change model, you can see that we're using system scope as a provider, right? Um, we click th DeepSeek, which is a thinking model. And now if we resubmit this, and it'll show you the actual thinking process, the reasoning process behind the scenes. So, uh, yeah, so hopefully this video really uh, has shown you how to get things rolling with the system scope license. I'm going to add this into the settings somehow, just so it's really clear. I'll probably add it to this part right here, like upgrade to pro and then, um, you know, how to enable it or how to purchase it or whatever. Right. And then I'll probably also add it uh, just as a little tidbit here as a link you can click just to see how to really get through it because I've been getting a lot of emails and I totally understand. I mean, man, the thing about AI, it's really nice, but the thing I'm trying to do with system sculpt is kind of have a single key that does all, right? So a system sculpt key that gives you all of the models, all of the embedding, all of the recorder. I mean, again, that's things that we can get into in, in future videos as well, or you can watch past videos, but I really want a one size fits all key that lets you know that I'm using the best of the best. I'm using the best transcription models. I'm using the best post-processing models. I'm using the best chat models, the best embedding models, um, and you know the best similarity score uh, algorithms um, rather than like having so many API keys. And maybe that's your thing. Maybe you love having that very like fine-grained control, but personally, and I know that a lot of system scope users as well, you just want something that works. You just want something that, you know, I can submit a feature request and boom, it's going to be available in the next week or so, right? So that's what System Sculpt is about. Thank you for watching. Thank you for uh, purchasing Lifetime. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, daily videos from now on, I've pretty much got a beautiful system uh, in terms of you know creating, recording, and then uh, publishing content. So I'm really looking forward to that. And I will see you again uh, soon, probably another video today. So yeah, thank you for watching.